Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more a judicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. What a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> Look at this ploppy out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? What? Oh, man! And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too! Wow! You really are fucked! I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Until then, I got about this much time. You wait her out. All right. Now, 
We ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. Could save your hide, hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Oh man, we're popping a cherry here! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're gonna love this! Alright, check it out. Blood, it's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, but your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. But down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> Alright. You go down there casual like. You creep up on him. The bury those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Cause it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance of immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic is worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? That's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. But now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch the sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Okay, now. What the fuck is this? You get inside here and head upstairs. Get up with this. Come down here. Stay away from the windows. It's a Sabat raid. Sabat? They're, uh... God, Christ, I was hoping to spare this shit till later. Uh, the Sabat. No. Uh, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, right? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on No time for political run now. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away.
dumb frenzy to some bot bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. Oof. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Alright, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. You do what you gotta do. Zap, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sin before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. Oh. 